Hello, welcome to VMC. I'm Dr. M. Today we are going to cover essential oils and how they relate to our cats and dogs. Join me, you'll learn something. So first we need to cover what essential oils are. So it is part of a number of different plants and the oil will be extracted from the plant using distillation or cold pressing. People will try to use these essential oils for all sorts of things as herbal remedies, flavorings, insecticides, aromatherapies, and so on. So first we'll cover dogs. Dogs are a little bit less sensitive to essential oils than cats are. However, there are still enough Number of essential oils that are very toxic for dogs. This is in no way a complete list, but oils like tea tree oil, oil of wintergreen, pine oil, pennyroyal, and so on are all toxic for dogs. Cats are far more susceptible to essential oils, like citrus oil, the ones that are toxic to dogs as well, and the list goes on and on. Part of the reason cats are more sensitive is because they lack a liver enzyme that helps to break down the oil once it's absorbed by the body. So essential oils can enter the body through the skin or uh, being ingested orally. And so another reason cats tend to be more affected by essential oils is because they do a lot more grooming of their fur. And so any oil that lands on their fur, they then ingest, which can cause a lot of problems. So just some of the symptoms that we often see from pets that have been exposed to essential oils, um, we will see things like nausea, vomiting, the pet so heart rate is too low, they can go into liver failure, renal failure, they can have ataxia, uh, neurological symptoms, they can lose the ability to regulate their body temperature. These oils can really affect our cats and dogs in a number of different and very severe ways. There's also the concern that if they do ingest it and then they start vomiting or vomiting is induced, then that can cause them to aspirate some of the oil, causing aspiration pneumonia, which is particularly nasty. So do not induce vomiting. If your pet gets into any essential oils, you need to immediately contact a pet poison hotline and get their advice. So essential oils tend to be used in one of two ways. Um, sometimes Sometimes there is a diffuser, like a reed diffuser, that essentially only puts the odor from the essential oil into the air. And this is less dangerous for our pets because the actual oil is not being aerosolized. For these types of diffusers, we do still see a lot of irritation to the respiratory tract of our pets. This can cause a running nose, running eyes, they can have wheezing, coughing, it can um, cause asthma, and this can result in respiratory difficulty. However, even more concerning are the types of diffusers that actually aerosolize parts of the oils and put them into the air. These micro droplets will not only worsen the respiratory symptoms, but they will also land on the fur and get groomed off. Um, and they can be absorbed dermally, so through the skin. It's also important to note that there is no proven effect of using essential oils. I mean, unless you just like the smell of them, and you know, I can understand that some people do. However, the research about whether or not they actually are effective at treating any medical issue is lacking. It really is a pseudoscience based on anecdote and testimonials, which we all know is not at all a substitution for rigorous scientific study. There is insufficient reliable evidence to indicate that essential oils are actually helpful at treating anything. However, if you really like the smell and you insist on doing it, use a passive diffuser, put it into a room that, that pets are not allowed into, close the door, open lots of windows so they don't have to deal with near as much of the smell and really minimize the amount of time, say less than an hour, that you even have the essential oil in your household for. Doing that will reduce the risk, however there's still going to be a risk that animals will get into things if not properly supervised and there are also some pets who are just going to be hypersensitive to the odor or to even a small amount 
of the oil being in the household and so you can still cause symptoms to your pets just using these oils at all and absolutely do not ever in any way apply essential oils to your animals or if you live in a household with pets you really shouldn't be using essential oils the overwhelming odor will be offensive to our pets there's no evidence that it actually helps with anything and it certainly can cause a lot of harm to our cats and dogs. I know there's a fairly popular product on the market called Pet Remedy and seeing people use that in particular drives me a bit up the wall. Um, they do not list the amounts of the ingredients that are on their label. They also claim that there's a bunch of evidence that it works, but when you look into the actual evidence, there's nothing there. The one semi-decent research study done on the product actually showed that it doesn't do anything to help animals at all. Do not use this product, it's not regulated, it's not effective, and we don't know if it's safe or not. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I put out new videos most Fridays. Please comment down below if you have a subject matter you'd like me 